a lot of normal things sound weird when they get put together. Take, for example, a bunny, a cat, and the color purple. Now, that sentence sounds odd enough, but it's in fact our friend Chowder. And that leads us nicely into today's story. The time is 7 a.m. It's time to go to school, and I head for the gate. My house is located in a very, very convenient location. There is a pharmacy ahead of us, neighbors to the west, and right next to the pharmacy. Uh, I'm not really sure in that direction. And to the east is a preschool. That preschool usually has a couple of sweet old ladies that come over with trolleys in hand, bringing munchies for kids to buy, like snacks for lunch or whatever. So it's safe to say that a trolley in the middle of the morning is not odd, out of the ordinary. So I'm headed to the gate and I hear trolley noises. I lift my head to say hi to the old ladies because that's what I do. And I am greeted not by a senior citizen, but by the sketchiest man I have ever seen in my life with a trolley. Let's call him Sketch Squatch. Kind of like Sasquatch, but sketchier. By the way, has anyone seen Sasquatch lately? Kind of getting worried about him. Yeah, but anyway, in this trolley he had was a massive gate. I'm talking huge gate. This thing is twice his size, at least. And it's made of metal, heavy metal. So my mind is trying to process this information and I have heaps of questions. Just out of the wazoo, I'm thinking, who is this guy? Why did he choose to steal this gate? Why did he choose to steal it in the middle of the night and push it in the morning? These questions ran in my head, one after the other, and they just added to my respect for this man. Now, I don't condone any sort of thievery or stealing, but I gotta give props to this man. He was determined. Do you know how freaking difficult it is to just lift? Those rolling gates out of off their track? I mean, it's difficult. I've tried. Not for the reasons you think, but I've tried. And I wanted to ask him a heap of inappropriate questions. But when I looked into this man's face, he just looked tired. Like an, like, just tired. The worst kind of tired. He looked like he was about to fight the fire lord tired. So, I just watched him disappear into the streets, never to be seen again. Some say that he beat Satan in a rock, paper, scissors match and earned the gate to the ninth realm of hell. While others say that if you were to catch him and give him a Turkish delight, he will bestow the knowledge of the ancients. Yeah, but what do I know? What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your legends. Make them awesome, please. Like, comment, subscribe and share it. More people need to know about this man. And I'll see you guys next time. Wing it and do best. Tristan, onward!